Hey, good evening, folks. Welcome to another Friday Night Watch Chat. I am your host, Bobby Legs. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. Hope you had a good week. TGIF, as my friend Joe will say, I probably just stole this line. Uh, you can still say it, Joe. How are you, Joe, by the way? <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, TGIF. Uh, uh, and I, I did no homework. I'm not prepared for this. I haven't read about anything, but I'm just here for the frogs. Um, the merits. <laughs> and tonight, uh, just wearing the this little vintage boulevard, uh, just hanging out with it. Got a red strap for it, so. That thing looks cool. I That's like that sweet, strap. Man. Thanks. <laughs> I like that bracelet you had the other day too. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm wasting all my money on straps and bracelets. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Amin, how are you, man? Hey, Rob. Good. How are you doing? Good. Good. What do you got on today? Speaking of uh, straps and bracelets, I'm constantly looking for the right strap or bracelet for this for this Explorer too. So I was thinking. Is if I get a burgundy NATO, is that going to clash with a red hand, or is that uh, is that a? You want to do a, a show us again, there, Ramen? I have right. on a solo yeah. layout. All right, let me let me take myself off uh, green screen here because it makes the band invisible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, I'll try to do this quickly. All right, so it's uh you know Explorer two yeah. on uh, green. Olive green NATO. Uh, yeah, I like it. I'm just it looking for good. for other other NATO ideas. Is is the Bond NATO played out at this point? It, well, it's a good looking NATO though. Yeah, it's, got, so it's the basically the same colors, right? Black, uh, olive, and then a yeah. little bit of red. Yeah, yeah, that would work. Should I? Should I, I'll give it a try. I'll order yeah, one sure. for Crown and Buckle. <laughs> <laughs> so, a cheap one. So, yeah. so, Amin, are you are you trying to keep the Explorer too? I'm, I'm trying to love this watch. Yeah, that, that is what I'm trying to do. Okay, I I, I change I hear the you. Strap this more than more than anything. Yeah, yeah. it's mostly because I, I I don't want the pain of selling it at a loss, and so I, yeah, trying to love it. Gotcha. I got you. I, yeah, I, I've yeah. been there. Uh, Colin, what's up, man? How you doing? Not much. I'm good, man. What do you got on? I'm wearing my Pepsi. Yeah. Very nice. Love it. Pretty much wear it like all the time right now. Yeah. It's just so, com so comfortable around the house. and Absolutely. Yeah. Got to keep not, time zones. Not dressing up. So, yeah. you know. Do you ever, are you ever tempted <laughs> now that they're going to allow they're going to sell both bracelets to uh, to pick up the oyster, so you can switch it up. Uh, you know, mm. Jubilee for a few months, oyster for a couple weeks. Um, I really like the Jubilee on the Pepsi. Um, on a Batman, I could maybe uh, go for an oyster. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. I like that same aesthetic too. Pepsi Jubilee, Batman yeah. oyster. Yeah. yeah, it's expensive though. It's like you know, like two thousand dollars for a bracelet, right? So, I, I'm hoping that you know, like maybe in the future, ads will do like a swap program where maybe mm -hmm. you just pay a little bit. Like they'll take your Jubilee and you mm -hmm. give them five hundred bucks, and they'll give you the oyster mm -hmm. or something like that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, bracelets are so expensive. Uh, my tutor, uh, when I had the uh, the blue bay, and uh, and I bought the bracelet, it was eight hundred fifty bucks. You know, and I thought that was a two thousand. That's and uh, speaking of wearing something uh, every day, I uh, I've been wearing, of course, my Zin U fifty. Um, still loving the watch. Did a live stream review on it. Great. Yes, it. Well, thank you. It yet. Thank you. Um, you know, after I'm done with the review, I, I and I'm replaying what's going on online, and there was a couple of things that I forgot to mention. You know, so uh, that's the that's the one thing about doing stuff live. You know, and I don't know if I'll do that again, um, but it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. You know, fielding questions in real time while doing the review as well. 
um, I felt like that that part of it uh, was 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 a great experience. So let's just run down, see who's here. Um, let us also know uh, what you got on RIS. Uh, underachieving watch collector, yeah, cave crickets. Um, it's, a little too, it's a little chilly, although every once in a while you see one. Uh, the other crickets are outside, but they're not chirping, and the and the frogs are not uh, riveting this morning, uh, this evening. Riveting, riveting, Good. riveting. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got but it right. What, what else would it be? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Croaking. Um, oh, Wilson, yeah, yeah. Yeah. how are you, Keithy? Uh, blue shirt. Joe, what's going on, man? Oil, money, watches. All right. I, I've already <laughs> made the one mistake of putting up without looking, uh, but so far I am safe, I think, for more money. Got to watch what, what he puts. <laughs> Kelly, how are you? Thank you for joining. White glove watches. Uh, Junior, hello, sir. Uh, Daniel Yo, is it Meng Toxic? They sell or retail. I guess they're talking uh, about something over here, but we will be getting to now, that shortly. Yeah. Uh, Brent, uh, last show really had me thinking about the U50. Do it. Do it, especially mm -hmm. if you're looking for a diver um, and you want to, you know, don't go crazy, like, you know, chasing after something like a you know, Submariner or even, you know, if you don't want to spend a little more on a on a, a Seamaster, you know, think something else. You know, U50, great tech um, for sure. Chaz from the Berg. <laughs> Way, what's up, man? How you doing? Jeffrey, thanks for joining. Hello, Megan. Thank you uh, for, for joining us tonight. Hey, Megan. Uh, Bobby, how you doing? Here to watch more Bobby, frog legs. Bobby, hey, frog. hey. <laughs> <laughs> and ID guy, how are you? Yes, we are live. Did I say that? Did I say that? We're live. Yes, we're live. Uh, <laughs> ID guy is come awesome. Speaking of live shows, ID guy is man. He's a marathon runner. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Saturdays are fun. Yeah. I like poking in and out uh, from time to time. Uh, Very impressive. Yeah. yeah, and and high quality all the way. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Mountain Standard Time. What is up? Sanjay, my friend, hello. Nilo, what's going on, man? Joe, you got me again. Uh, every I think week. the ID guy has to get himself psyched up. There's usually, there's talk of I both know. caffeine and alcohol, right? Early in the beginning, right? Of the marathon. Yeah. yeah. Um, plus, he's younger than we are. I, I can just, you know, <laughs> you can tell. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I, I picture him doing like jumping jacks and shadow boxing. Yeah. Um, He's, he like, he's a triathlete, I think, yeah. for sure. Right, right. Brent, I think I already said hello to you. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, and I'll keep on uh, uh, sorting through the, the crowd here. Oh, oh, Six Color 2121, one of my favorite uh, names. Uh, Riss Ross, Ross, what's up, man? How are you? There's Kevin S. Okay, so uh, guys, yeah, sure. Let us know what you're wearing. Also, if you have any questions or topics you want to throw out at us, we have a couple that we're going to start off uh, with tonight. And the first one, I mean, there was something that was going on today. I wonder what that could be. Um, did anyone pick up a Ming? Um, so uh, it, it occurred to me like at 9.05 that, uh, holy crap, uh, you know, these were going on sale for like, that a 10 minute window. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, I have to admit, I had a slight thought of actually going in there and seeing my luck and trying to see if I could get through and do it, um, just for, uh, shits and giggles. Um, but, uh, but I didn't, I didn't. Did anybody in the panel have the same temptation or, or did anybody in the panel, uh, Rob, is this, what, what you got on the screen right now, some of these Not are it. unrelated, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I'm just on their right, site. Right. Um, I gotcha. Okay. I was like, shit, I missed something really good. <laughs> Sorry, my bad, guys. My bad. Part of my there you go. language <laughs> here. Yeah, uh, no, no, okay. no worries. All right. Anybody? Anyone here? Thought about it? Second thoughts? I, I didn't think about it today. When it first came up, I thought about it, you know? Um, it's, uh, I think they're good looking watches. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just couldn't get up the the motivation. 
Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I was, when they announced this, I was like, I'm doing it. Like, yeah. I hadn't even seen it yet, right? And I was yeah. like, I'm going to do it. And uh, they released the pictures. I like I like the watch. I, I, mm-hmm. I think it's a very good looking watch. And uh, some other stuff came up really is the <laughs> biggest reason that uh, mm-hmm. I'm not doing it. So, yeah, sitting that, sat that one out. Yeah, I think I, I was tempted at first as well, Colin, and the, and then talking to you um, really got me hyped up, and I'm like, sure, why not? You know, why not <laughs> throw in uh, my my hat in the in the ring there uh, with this? But then um, in time, it kind of just went, and I just know that, like, you know, I know myself now, right? Like my, and I've mentioned me a couple times here on, on on these streams that my first reaction is usually my wrong reaction, and in mm-hmm. time. I kind of sort of worked my way to the right answer for me. And the right answer was that I was going to buy this for all the wrong reasons. Um, Mm -hmm. Joe, um, any temptation on your end? Yeah, no, uh, same thought uh, flitted through my mind. Um, You know, the the fear of missing out versus, you know, like like you were saying, that second thought that that immediately follows, like, am I doing this for all the wrong reasons? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've, I've, I've sunk like that amount of money into two hand watches before with little quirks that make them seem attractive at first. But you know, I, I, I've been down that road before. So I thought maybe not, not this time. Yeah. Uh, beans. Will I get yelled at? I said I did. No, it's a beautiful watch. Not at all. Yeah, not at all. No. Beans and beans. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Good. For he's you. he, I think he's had one. Um, I think he has one in his collection already. Yeah. Um, or if he did, if he does it now, he had sold it. Um, but no, I mean, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't begrudge anybody for 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 getting it's this beautiful. watch. It's, it's, it's a good no, looking watch. It's beautiful. If I had unlimited money, I I would have got it <laughs> for sure. I mean, uh, oil money's wearing uh, his geez. longa tonight, <laughs> pretending to be <laughs> boss like Rick. Quick Rick comment, did, Rob. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so one thing I noticed on the screen. Do you see on the on the blue one at least is this there's this aliasing pattern or moiré pattern on the uh, on the dial? Mm-hmm. Uh, I've noticed that the the particular pattern that they cut into this dial is super susceptible to that. So uh, you know if you're getting it and you're going to post it on Instagram, mm-hmm. it's uh, and, and I saw somebody mention this in one of the comments too that it's. Um, it's prone to this kind of artifact, this aliasing artifact that kind of ruins a lot of photos if you care about that sort of thing. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. It'll, it'll and never the blue? On the wrist, both of them. Uh, and at, th- at that zoom, you can't see it. Right, stop right there. You see these kind of like wave patterns over that are not the actual design of the, yeah. the dial. Yeah. Um, they, they pop up in a lot of pictures of these watches. And hmm. I don't know. If, if some some people are more sensitive to aliasing than others, and it just kind of bothers your eyes, but anyway, it's a small point. It's weird buying watches. Uh, part of the factor of buying a watch being, you know, how good is this going to look on social media? <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, I'd be lying if it, if I said it wasn't if it didn't figure in a little bit. Uh, Sanji passed on it was tempted, but mostly just because of all the hype. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see here. It jumped on me here. The comments, uh, Ming, the merciless. Yeah. <laughs> um, flash. Yeah. Right. I love flash cord. Uh, that got a Ming. Uh, I didn't bother as I am more into Satori billiard, to be honest. Okay. Nice. Yeah. yeah I think, uh, that's acceptable. Megan. Nice. Uh, Rus- uh, Ross uh, grabbed the burgundy one and he feels <laughs> kind of dirty. Congrats. Congrats. <laughs> Congratulations, Ross. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry. You'll be happy with it, I'm sure. Um, I was going to try, Kevin S says, but then realized I would only buy it because it's hard to get and not mm-hmm. because I really want it. Yeah, I think you yeah. know, I'm, I'm with you on that one. You know, yeah. um, Alfredo is I've owned five Ming watches and didn't pick one up. Oh, wow. Which I love. Uh, while I love them, I have brand fatigue. Yeah, well, I hear you for sure. Yeah. Um. Uh, the prices are amazing. I mean, uh, if if you're talking, referring back to the Ming, I mean, yeah, I mean, this was you know two 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 G's around, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. not bad. No, it's not a bad value. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, let's they see. They sold here. what, like 2,000 is what I heard? That's what somebody had posted. Um, yeah, well, Ming, Ming put that up on their Instagram oh. story. Okay. I was a little unclear if it was 2,000 of each or if it was 2,000 total, but um, yeah, that's mm -hmm. pretty good for 10 minutes. Megan, yeah. Megan, still strong on the Satori. Mm. Um, Megan, are you in France? Did I, did I, did I get that right? Because um, Satori, uh, as, you, as you know, is in France as well. So right. I wonder if uh, uh, Amin is right. You need to use different processing techniques when resizing on Instagram. Yeah, be, mm. and Beans would know. He um, he's really fantastic with with photography and so and so is Amin actually so um both of these guys would definitely know about that uh, all for the gram <laughs> um very much so and Ming Tyne is a, a photographer and a very mm -hmm. scientifically minded photographer so I'm sure he's more than aware of the of that issue so did you think that he did that on purpose no I don't think he did it on purpose but um you know, I think um, a part of it is that when we're viewing it on the screen right now, we're resizing it in ways that he doesn't control, yeah. right? Sure. It's, it's right. being mm -hmm. resized by HTML. It's being resized by StreamYard, you know? Mm -hmm. So there's not really a way that he can put it on the web where this can't happen. It's just, but it's just that that dial pattern is particularly susceptible. Mm -hmm. JDA, hi, Bobby. What do you think? What do you all think about the new Zen 105? Uh, I like the UTC, uh, Zen 105 UTC. I am not crazy about the regular 105, and it's mostly because I am still not used to seeing the day and, well, the date at 6, but also the day complication mm -hmm. at 6 o'clock. It's still, mm -hmm. um, I'm, not, I'm not totally around that yet. And then the little pill-like, um, our indices, yeah. um, they don't really do it for me either. Um, that's just my take. It's just a matter of a stylistic opinion. I, I would prefer a 104. They didn't release a different one, uh, right? This is from the one a few months ago? Yeah, yes. This yeah. is the one from me. They, they didn't uh, yeah. release like a limited edition one or right. okay. uh, one recently. Uh, Kevin S., I saw Roman Scharf uh, selling a Harry Winston white gold watch which was black PVD coated, toxic enough for Amen. Already the toxic watch comments uh, for Amen, and we're only 17 <laughs> minutes in. Um, and I'll give, I'll let, you know, hey, I'll, I'll, if you want to address this one or do you want to pass, that's that's fine uh, with me, <laughs> however you want to go about this. I tend to pass on coded myself. Mm -hmm. That that I just worry about uh, coatings, most all kinds of coatings, but Harry Winston yeah. gets my gets gets my interest every time. So, <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> mm. so it's it's uh <laughs> it's in my wheelhouse maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kevin, I saw Bobby's video on the U fifty nice bit, but wanted to see him get the drill. Uh, <laughs> that would have been awesome. You know, I may have to like do like a remake. Um, I'll, I'll change the. Uh, the color on the on the on the video. I'll do it black and white and and make it seem like it happened in the past, which it did. And 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 then we'll we'll have a little fun with it, maybe. Um, I love when I'm taking heat in the chat. There's usually like one person who who's on my my uh, wavelength. So right yeah. now, Me Megan Arthur. I love Harry Winston watches, and uh, she had some love for Sartori Billard. So at least there's there's usually one person who. Who's yeah, not, who's not She's burying me in the chat? Yes, yeah, and it's, up and it's me. Megan sticks up so, for you a lot. So thank yeah, you, Megan does. Arthur. Yeah. Much appreciated. She probably JDA. Thank you for the the super chat. I really appreciate the support. Thank you. Um, watch yourself. Yeah, the UTC with the orange hand looks good. Hmm. Um. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Megan and Peter are talking with each other. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Rickon watches Harry Winston Van Cleef. What else for yeah. Bring it. <laughs> Arnold and Son. Uh, Arnold. Hey, I like Arnold. I mean, well, I know. Actually, yeah. that's like one of your like better picks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, BT, you know what, though? Is, sorry. You, sorry, you know what, though? Okay. I actually love a lot of the watches that he picks. It's just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's yeah. just yeah it's just so funny because he just keeps going to those <laughs> <laughs> I, I aspire to be Amin. No. yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, everyone absolutely. does i think we everyone all appreciate does. each other's uh, uh <laughs> approach <laughs> Yeah. It, 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 it's more fun that we have different ways of, of doing this actually yeah we are very uh, we're all pretty unique honestly yeah that's yep. a good point yeah i mean that's why i think maybe you know we we and with marcus included we all like well work well together when we do these things um so uh bdev ask the guys if they have an opinion on the olic if i'm pronouncing that right sorry or wrong sorry and you had a watch like this, didn't you? <laughs> didn't you have a, a um, no Oxen Junior? That's different. oh okay. Oh, that's a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I honestly don't know what this is. All right. Yeah. So, uh, well, uh, this, Joe, this, this I mean, is a Joe question. Is, this probably. is a totally Joe question. Uh, Joe, do you, do you know what this is? I so I'm I'm actually ever since you oh. dropped that comment, I'm looking it up, and it it, it looks fantastic. It looks like something that I, I got it on the screen. Get. If you want to. Um, I think I'm about to pull it up. Okay. I think we've looked at this one. We did look at this once. Did we? Okay. I think so. Yeah, it's a it's a great size. A little bit less than forty diameter. A little less than fifty lug to lug. Twenty eight. Does that mean more driven? Less than a thousand dollars. Is that Swiss francs? S F R. Yes, I believe so. I usually see C H F, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's got an ETA in it. Yeah. Hmm. Very, I mean, very toolish. Cool. Nice folks. Yeah. You know, I like the segmented loom on the on the minutes hand. Oh, yeah, this. yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. It's kind of interesting. It's a good beater. It looks like a good beater. Those look kind of long lugs, I mm -hmm. think. The lugs are a little long for my taste. Yeah. It, it's built like a Zodiac, you know, 40, 40 mm -hmm. diameter and 50 lug to lug. So mm -hmm. it, it'll wear pretty good. I think kind of looks like an upside down owl face. I don't know. Or a brain. Or nice. Or a brain. <laughs> <laughs> or a brain. <laughs> um, okay, great. Um, let's go down here. Do, 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 uh, ID guy, you and me both with coatings. Amen. I love the material express in its natural finish. Okay. Uh, JDA with another two dollars. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, you didn't even ask a question. I know. Well, here's this question: we What do you all think of, oh. about <laughs> the Dodan Type Twenty Three GMT? I can oh, share dude. a link if you all are not familiar with it. I have no clue what you're talking. Isn't about. isn't that the um, the stock that uh, the cryptocurrency that just? <laughs> Oja coin. <laughs> I got it up if you need. If okay, you sure, it. no problem. Yeah, let me uh, add. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is this is an old brand, but is it kind of like a Phoenix brand? Yeah, it must be. Right yeah, brand? I would imagine. Oh, this overlay is weird. Yeah. Uh, there's no way to view it without the overlay. No. Nice looking. I mean, it looks cool. Oh, yeah. I like I like the way that looks. I like the syringe yeah. hands. I like the uh, the UTC. If you right right click and hit open image in new tab. This? Yeah. I mean, I yeah, I can open that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just meant like uh, it looks like there should be a page back here that I can get to. Mm. And yeah. uh, it's like three layers of yeah. backgrounds. Yeah. So What's the movement here? Why wow, give him a C for the website? It's a Dubois movement. That's cool. Oh, that is pretty cool. Yeah. ID guy loves a good Dodan. Did I say Dodan? Dodane? Uh, depends what language it is, I guess. <laughs> Uh, Chaz, tadpole relocation project. Thank <laughs> you. <Chad. laughs> yeah, I've been I've been going the last couple of days uh, with a shoebox and uh, and a little petri dish and, and moving them. Yeah, this color without the PVD coat is pretty cool. 
I dig it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a huge PVD coating guy. Syringe hands. Nice looking. Yeah. It's a nice looking watch. Yeah, it's a nice looking watch. Good looking watch, yeah. yeah. There, there was this kind of profile shot that I think we passed over that showed the lugs are a little bit evacuated on the outside. So it's a good look oh, yeah? in the case, too. Yeah. Hmm. What's the price? I don't know. I don't Is know. it <laughs> click? 3,900 3, euros. Oh. One of them is, there's a, oh, wait, the GMT is 3,900, yeah. Okay. Yeah, a little pricey. Yeah, a little yeah, pricey. Not cheap. Looks like they have the Tudor School of Movement uh, decoration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and yeah, you got to add oh, some slightly money better to striped at least. <laughs> Sorry. So it's kind of like build your own watch. They got like some add ons where you can kind of pick. Ooh, so th I mean, this is kind of price like if you shop savvy, you can get like a. Like a type of you can get a type twenty for that kind of cast. Yeah, well, that's, that's a what, good. Uh, yeah, you add a few type twenty. Oh, cast. Oh, that's right. Good <laughs> point. Yeah, it, I mean, yeah, I'm out just because of the price. That's that's a lot. It's about forty five hundred. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sorry, Kevin S. I think Bobby uh, needs a Hanhart. Good German watch. I I totally agree with that. Yeah. Uh, in fact, I may have one in here for review that came today. So oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah. Coincidence. Yeah. Coinky dink. Um, you, pl you planted that comment. Yeah. yeah. I, I did. The same thing. I did. Uh, yes. Kevin S is actually um, Mrs. Legs. Did she hear that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just replaying that in my mind. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Moser. Uh, okay. Um, Kevin has undone for three K. Oh, that's that's harsh, Ke uh, Mrs. That's Legs. Harsh. That's uh, give me Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's let's move on. So earlier in this week, uh, we were talking about um, if there was like something that. We um, that attracts us to to a watch per se that that above all would uh, you know is is it's what we're looking for right I mean like you know there's just something when you see a watch it has it it has that thing that you like so much and 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 what is it you know we all have different um, you know tastes and whatnot and so parlaying in a conversation that, that we also had with Amin about um, his new well not new but his recent i would say um love affair with with han guilloche and engine turn han guilloche and uh, how important that is to him and, and coincidentally for me too as well I've, I've been getting in that as well i've i have my jaeger benzinger which is guilloche in the front and back and and engraved mm -hmm. and, and I, i'm completely gaga over it now all i want are watches with that kind of uh sort of uh skills uh, you know and um and they call and they, you know they're expensive um yeah. so i'm i'm in, so, so you know, let's talk about that. You know, uh, so when yeah. you're looking at watches now, is Let that what you're a, a watch yeah. that I, I'm really looking at hard, right? So it's this uh, Chrono Swiss Delphis. This is a, a jump hour uh, watch from late 90s, I want to say, or early 2000s. Yeah. Um, and what originally drew me to it was I was looking for a Guilloche watch that was semi-affordable and had this kind of basket weave pattern, which is really uncommon on, on Guilloche watches that are not super expensive. It's a technic technically hard pattern to do. And so there's a guy I've been uh, following on Instagram who knows more about Guilloche. Like he has pictures of his kids doing Guilloche. He's really into it. He, he uh, you know, when he wants to check on Guilloche, he'll converse directly with the manufacturer and I asked him, you know, where are some places to maybe get potentially affordable um, guilloche? And he told me to look at um, early Daniel Roth, Chrono Swiss, and forget what the, actually right now what the other one he said was. Definitely um, Breguet, you know, um, uh, can be semi-affordable. And uh, anyway, so I looked at, at Chrono Swiss 
And uh, and I found this one, and I like that it has a jump hour. Um, it's something different for my uh, for my um, collection. Anyway, um, it turns out one thing I've learned in chasing guilloche is that. If the manufacturer doesn't have videos of them doing guilloche on the watch <laughs> that you're looking at, it's probably not engine, you know, real guilloche. <laughs> yeah. It's like the people who do it, it's so time consuming, so energy, you know, consuming yeah. that they're really super proud of it. And they go out of their way to say like, this watch was made by somebody point. at a Rose engine. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and whenever you see, so if you Google Chrono Swiss Delphis guilloche, the the um christie's auction say engine turned and the what are the other auction houses they all the auction houses say engine turned um and it turns out that the guy on instagram i asked him about this particular one he asked chrono swiss and they told him we have some engine turn dials this one cnc machined right mm -hmm. um and so it's not it's not engine turn but um anyway at this price i think it's still um, you know, this is a price where you're often getting stamped dials and CNC machining is, uh, you know, um, very similar in how it reflects light and the quality of how it comes out to, to engine turning. It just doesn't have the value that an artisan spent their time, you know, doing it. Mm -hmm. Um, so anyway, definitely, um, just kind of going through this. I'm thinking there's, you know, there's guilloche, then there's CNC machining, then there's stamped, right? And um, the stamped will never kind of have the the look. And then with guilloche, there's, I guess you could even separate that into, um, I heard Josh um, Shapiro talking about how his guilloche, like he's the one doing it. He's silvering the dial. He's doing the guilloche. He does everything himself, whereas Breguet has industrialized the guilloche. So they've got like, a, it's like a, a, even though somebody's doing it, it's like an unnamed person and they just do one part of it and another person does one part of it. So I guess that's not as uh, what about ar artisanal as one person doing it, like Benzinger doing it, Rob, yeah. for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you, like the, you like the combination of guilloche? Like or just you like the basket weave because like, I like uh, I like seeing a combination like Ophion okay. for example has basket I was just weave. gonna say Ophion yeah, yeah Ophion has basket weave CNC for the whole dial yeah um you know I, I see Rick here saying uh, Chapek real engine turned and and I think you know uh, I think uh, they are yeah yeah they are I, I I would just caution that a lot of companies have real engine turning and then they'll turn out one that isn't you know what mm -hmm. I mean. Like, yeah. um, like Paddock has real engine turning, but they recently released this $30,000, uh, anniversary Calatrava that's not even CNC, it's stamped, right? Or, mm -hmm. or FB Jorn has real engine turning on some of their super high end pieces, but then they've got $30,000 watches that are stamped. So, um, anyway. But yeah, Ophion looks looks really good. I still think this this Chrono Swiss is 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 um attractive because it's got a couple different patterns. It's got this sunray um CNC around the outside and then this uh basket weave in the middle and it's got a unusual movement, unusual presentation. So still interested. Cool. I have a question for you, but let's uh, let's catch up with the chat a little bit here. Uh uh, Kevin S is Bobby uh, S is work wife. Um, let's hope Mrs. Legs doesn't watch the replay. She doesn't get that far into the replay. So, <laughs> man, it's, it's quite okay. Um, I mean, that was a great post on your guilloche. Yeah, you did post it. Uh, I believe oh, it was on Horology Talk. Thank you. And uh, it was a, a very good detailed post. Um, definitely toxic. Um, <laughs> uh, beautiful sunray pattern. Yeah. Uh, love that too. Uh, and this is the Rick's comment that you had mentioned it. Um, now, uh, there's a couple of comments that I'm, I'm going to read, but I want to um, talk to you or question, uh, ask you a question, Amin, and, and you may or may not have the answer to that, to this one. Um, mm. So we have hand guilloche, right? Yeah. And then we have 
uh, C and C, mm -hmm. right? And then we have stamped. Mm -hmm. um, do we know? I mean, I, obviously the stamp is you're not going to have the, the sharpness of it, mm -hmm. right? Of the, of the hand guilloche mm -hmm. or, or the C and, C and C. What kind of machine are we talking about with the C and C though? Like, what did, is there any? Do you have any idea of what it looks like? I mean, I could I could picture like somebody using a stamped machine to to stamp something on, mm -hmm. almost kind of like a, when you're the, when you're making coins or something like that. Um, yeah. But uh, with the CNC machine, like, what does that look like? Do, do you so, know? So the stamped, just to start out with, the they're taking a uh, something that has been machined with a rose engine or CNC. Ah. And then using that as the negative for the stamping, right? Like so, a die or something. So at some point, they had to actually machine mm -hmm. a, uh, a a a surface to to stamp on. Um, CNC, my I don't know exactly what it looks like, but it is an actual. It's a basically. I, it's. It, uh, oh, go I, ahead, Colin. Yeah, I do. It's yeah. basically picture like a a box where you would just like mount the dial and mm. kind of like a gantry robot with cutting tools on it that can you know almost like the the toy picker kind of thing you know yeah, yeah. You can, and you can program it to do whatever you want so gotcha. you would program in the design and it would do it all but it's actually cutting right so mm -hmm. if yeah. you're if you use the same cutting appliance that you would use on uh, on a rose engine it could make a cut that results in the same sharpness and brightness mm -hmm. as a as a as yeah. an, a rose engine um, you're, I you're think just the quality the would be similar. Yeah. Yeah. You're just losing the value of that. Somebody has Hand. to toil, toil without Hand. making a mistake and be skilled. Yeah. Yeah. Be dev, uh, check out the guilloche, uh, from Leems, Leems, Faro, uh, Cartouche, Silver Dow, automatic dress watch. I, I know which watch you're talking about. I, that watch, um, and, and it looks great. Uh, don't get me wrong, but this, uh, watch is probably a little bit more mass produced, so I would bet that that's probably a stamped um, guilloche. But it looks it looks really good. It's a good looking uh, watch for sure, and for the price. I, I would just say, uh, Rob, that uh, it came up in the in the comments. RGM and uh, RGM and Benzinger, um, I feel like in a way are are in a way the highest uh, value because. You've got a single person who mm -hmm. spends their life doing this. I mean, compared to, you know, Voodalainen has an incredible dials, but he's got, a, you know, a team of people doing them. Mm -hmm. Brege has incredible dials, but they've got a team of people doing it. Yeah. There's something really super charming about knowing that, like, Benzinger did your dial, mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah. RGM Absolutely. did this dial, right? Yeah, you can go on Chrono Twenty Four, and Chrono Twenty Four has um, like exclusives uh, where they sell some brands, you know. Mm -hmm. And one of them is is Benzinger, and they have a video uh, of Benzinger. Uh, it's like a ten minute video of him, not not him all the time, but half the time in front of the Rose engine, it's like this, you know, and and, and just in, you know, um, guilloching the heck out of a dial. Um, and, uh, it's actually, it's actually amazing. And, and, and the, the other night I was up late watching our GM YouTube videos, um, and, and seen a couple of, of, of Roland uh, talking about doing his, his guilloche and the machines that are just like these epic, heavy, yeah. huge machines. Right. And yeah. they, and you see a person at one end of the machine, this mm -hmm. close to it you know, and doing the engraving. It's just, it's just amazing. Like this whole big thing, uh, just to work on this little Tiny, piece of, um, yeah. silver it, or whatever you're working on. I recommend anyone that hasn't watched any videos where someone is doing, you know, a, a rose lathe, uh, to look up some like, uh, um, RGM has some mm -hmm. videos, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Daniel, uh, uh Drawing a blank. The heck is his name? Uh, British dude. Anyway, Daniel Roth. No. Uh, Roger Smith has. Roger Smith. Yeah. That's what I was yeah. thinking. Sorry. Roger Smith has some good videos on it too. Yeah. My uh, my work wife is uh, donating five <laughs> five dollars to your Rose Engine fund. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. thanks, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs>
uh, I agree, um, Joe, and RGM is local for you as well. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you know, RGM in PA, local, really local for you, uh, Joe, same state. Um, and I think he's probably referring to Joe Philly, um, mm -hmm. watch fan as well. And for me too, um, RGM yeah. is only a couple hours drive and, uh, you know, maybe it's worth uh, taking a visit. I mean, um, you know, there, I've said this before, I don't know how many people are doing this hand guilloche stuff anymore. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, I would imagine to see small independents doing it. Right. And like, that's great. And, and there's some awesome. good value out there mm -hmm. for, for some of them, right? Like uh, oh, yeah. Lion A now, does it and Garrett now. does it and RGM. But, I mean, and, yep. but yeah. soon, I mean, RGM is getting to a point where I can't, uh, those kind of uh, watches, models with that kind of gear share are starting to get to a point where it's, it's yeah. I can't afford. You know what well, I mean? Joe posted one in our chat. Um, a chronograph with gorgeous guilloche that mm -hmm. w went on eBay for like yeah. three grand. Yeah. Uh, recently yeah. that we all missed. Yeah. yeah. The Swiss made uh, RGM. Was that the yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's weird though. I don't want to get too in the weeds with RGM, but he, he didn't start his business like 30 years ago, knowing how to do it. He's learned it along the way, mm -hmm. but that's a really early model. So I don't know if he oh, might've done that dial. I Ooh, see. Yeah. Yeah. Be a bad one. The rare stamped RGM. Dial. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm the only one is watching with toiling included. It's, it's a, it's Kevin a mix. Is it's, fire a, tonight. it's it's a mix, you know, like like the um I feel like you can get a watch that has incredible quality and not too much toiling for a certain amount of money, and you can get a watch with incredible toiling and not as much quality for a similar amount. But if you want incredible quality and a lot of toiling, then you're you're buying <laughs> Grubel Forcey and you're you're yeah. uh, a lot wealthier than me. So uh, it looks like everybody's going to start running off to RGM soon. <laughs> good. Uh, That's good. good. Yeah, good. He deserves it. Yeah. Um, he's, he's got um, a model. Oh, man, I forget I forget the model number, but it looks kind of like my Benzinger. It has the, uh, yeah. the Breguet numbers in hands. Oh, and 101 it's only, or something. Yeah, yeah it, it would be like redundant to add that to my collection. But it's so <laughs> pretty. Yeah. Though. yeah. Yeah. So pretty. You know, there's quite a few people that make a watch like that. Like the yeah, Breguet, yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of style, but uh, yeah, he does good work. When's uh, yours coming, Joe? It's taking so long. Yeah, these things. They yeah, yeah. It's like it's almost a, like he's making it. He's carrying it to term right now, and we're just Joe, halfway through. You're the best to answer this question. Megan's asking, "What is Model RGM?" 25. Oh, <laughs> RGM. Uh, uh, Roland G. Murphy in Pennsylvania uh, has his own uh, has had his own workshop there for thirty years. Yeah, I think he just passed his thirtieth. In oh no, it's coming up. Um, thirty years. Yeah, making his own uh, U.S. train, but he did uh, he did the Woe Step program uh, as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's really good. Um, Guilloching his own styles he does enamel as well but he he contracts out for that one but other yeah. stuff too cloisonne marquetry like he he's super versatile uh and yeah. somehow still remain under the radar for decades and decades hmm. and now his does he have in-house movements or he uses older movements right and kind of re purposes them yeah he has uh two serial in-house movements so the shape okay. the shaped one and then the 801 which is essentially the same architecture as the 6498 okay. and then next year he's coming out with uh with a new one like some smaller automatic movement to celebrate his anniversary did he oh. he also um did a tourbillon didn't he yeah yeah, he he does a serial production trip. I think he's only made like three or four, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cool. Yeah, he's got uh, uh, he's got you know about 20, 15 to twenty different models. Plus, he will customize, right? If mm -hmm. you ask. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, cool oil stuff. money watches uh, strikes again in the comments. I'm not going <laughs> to fall for that one. <laughs> Uh, Daniel, look up DM Tiffany on IG. Hank Yashay made in USA. Okay, we'll do definitely. 
Yeah. Um, and another um, DM Tiffany timepieces. Well, you know, while we're at it, sure, let's do it. Uh, let's DM. Do it. Man, Tiffany. this is like Joe's fantasy today. We're talking about all these obscure brands. <laughs> I'm gonna have to change pants soon. <laughs> oh, you just set up oil money. You just set up oil money right yeah, there. That, that, that one's one. even too obvious for him. Yeah. 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 Uh, so here we go. Handcraft from the beginning. Vertical precision integration. To do, do, do time pieces. Um. Let's see here. Uh, this one looked like it had guilloche in it, right? Nice. Um, that's super interesting, right? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Oh, kind cool. of like a vintage -y 60s vibe, 70s vibe as well. I don't know. That's that's what I'm... It's a 2892 movement. So maybe maybe you get guilloche for a little bit less if it's uh, if he's putting a 2892 in there. Uh, he does have a shop, so let's see here. Um, Daniel said it's about five k. Five Greek five k. One yeah. pro, one of one prototype. Um, this one sold out. That's <laughs> about the lowest that you'll see for hand guiche uh, at all, right? I mean, pretty uh, for the most. Yeah, part. that's why. That that's why I think cool I lucked pattern. out with a. I mean, you can go and watch buys right now and get that J and B and different configuration dial guichets for 4340. Mm. I mean that's um yeah that's from a from someone who's regarded as a, yeah. a master yeah guilloche guilloche whatever the <laughs> I don't think that's it. <laughs> yeah. Let me uh pull that guilloche. <laughs> Where is the guilloche? Don't to get in here. Got some watches to make. Let's just uh, bring that up real quick uh, here so you guys can. Cause if, uh, do, 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 do. There is a guy, Alexander, uh, I forget his name, in Russia, another one does hand uh, guilloche uh, for Sir, oh, Sirokov or something. Or... I forget his name. Alexander. His, uh, yeah, his watches are are German made, they say, right? But he's Russian. Is that the guy we're talking about? Sirokov. Oh. There's one in Russia. Okay. Not, ne not Nestorenko, right? No. Okay. Is it? I think I said it. Oh. I think, I think it's I'm all right, guys. Yeah. yeah. I think Colin's right. <laughs> I right. think the other Alexander there. Just listen to me. Does. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you mumbled it under your breath. So I wasn't it's Alexander sure. Shiro I don't know how to say one. it. Shirokov. Or, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Go to his website. It's really nice. Oh, yeah, man. I like Here, I'll share. Can I share? Yeah. Let's do this. Start screen. Oh, sharing. that's not the guy. What? He, he makes beautiful watches. He's not the guy I was thinking of, though. Oh. Oh. Um, I like those. Look at, watches. Look at it. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, this guy does some interesting stuff, right? See that? I like. That's cool. That can't that can't be hand guiche though, right? I mean, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Lion A does the same pattern. I don't know. What um? um how much is that watch? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. This is just like, oh, whoa, wait, how much is that? There's like a dots and right. commas and things in places. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. They sell they sell his watches on um, exquisite timepieces. We could we could go there real quick and see what oh. what they cost. Okay. Exquisite. New ones. Ooh, not nice. those ones. Oh, come on. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> those are the best break. ones. <laughs> well, I clicked on gold, of course. In Russia, anyway. Kyoshe makes you, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's a gold one for right. 7,700. Yeah. That's not, not bad not for hard. gold. Yeah. 
Does it say engine turned? I don't know. Yeah. You, this, this is your next quest. Can you find this out? <laughs> um, oh, Rick's in Naples. So nice. You can head over there. Ooh. So I, I kind of hog I this is German. the topic in with Germany. the uh with the what we look for in a watch, and I got us off on Gioche. So uh it's a cool topic, honestly. A, yeah, like I've gone down that rabbit hole before too, but I'm very shallow and I won't spend money on stuff like this. So <clears throat> So, <clears throat> Joe. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, it's all good. It's all good, man. Um, what attracts you most to a watch? Oh, uh, it, it kind of it, it kind of riffs on the current topic anyway. But if I guess I I've been saving up my money, like the real money, not not the stuff that I throw into like the cheap vintage pool. Right. Um, but this this money that I actually save up for, I guess it, it goes to watchmakers that I can actually talk to, mm-hmm. right? Like mm-hmm. like the the things that I, I can um, either hold in my hand that I enjoy the most or looking forward to the most, hopefully this year, are like you know the the, the Hopperin coming in or the RGM coming in or or the Kadoka. Um, so you know just the fact that I can you know reach out and, and yeah you know work with those folks on something that you know might not even exist necessarily you make a cus- make a, a couple of tweaks and get something that i really like um so obviously I'm, I'm paying a premium um you know not buying on secondary market and giving it to the maker uh, uh or, or the you know u.s partner retailer um but i i, I get a lot of gratification from that so i, I kind of like going through that process what's it been like with the harboring uh, it, it's been pretty straightforward. Um, Maria does all the email communication and is very quick to reply to things. And I, I didn't ask for anything fancy, so I, I don't really haven't really communicated with her all that much. But we just kind of um, just kind of told me about what what they have uh, to offer and then who the uh, U.S. partner is. And it's it's Tim Jackson again in California. Mm-hmm. Did you custom the with. The color on that on that one? <clears throat> no, 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 nothing fancy. The, exactly the way that they make it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So that that's very interesting too, Joe. I mean, uh, and it's something that I probably don't think about it regularly. Is um, with independence um, having a personal connection um, with the watchmaker. Uh, you know, there's plenty of independence um, that we have access to uh, via. Uh, distributors or authorized dealers that I would never even think of just like sidestepping that and and reaching out maybe to the individual watchmaker to see and work with them on it. Um, so that's that's really cool. That and and I know with Kadoki you you kind of develop some sort of uh, friendship there um, with uh, with Stefan and his wife in in, uh, in a way um, that you guys are every once in a while email each other. So I think that's really very cool. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not. I mean, I have it. I have it on good authority that you know part of my purchase last year paid for their sauna. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope that every time they're in that Schwitz, they think of me. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, and Colin, man, like, what is it? What is what is the thing? There is no the thing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, first and foremost, it's got to fit well. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean. <clears throat> too big or too small, and it's just not going to work for me. Um, I like a nice dial. I like colorful dials, but um, I, I seem to want something on the watch that catches my eye. So whether it's you know a blue and red bezel, or uh, you know a green dial, or something that really pops. I mean, I think Amon's even said it before, and I didn't even realize it. You know, like. I kind of have flashy watches, even though they're tool watches, like Mm -hmm. they usually have some sort of pop on them. Like uh, my planet ocean has a pop of orange, right? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, So I I think I, I I don't really set out to look for that. That just seems to be what happens. Yeah. Uh, So, yeah. And then of course, you know, just 
I like a lot of mainstream stuff. I mean, I, I listen, I mean, I love looking at some of this D and D stuff and I, I research it and I, one of these days I'm going to take the plunge. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, um, yeah, I just, it's just gotta be beautiful. Right. Yeah. No, I hear you. I mean, you know, for me, the, the flavor of the month is, is hang guilloche and, 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 um, mm -hmm. and, and for, it's really catching my eye and as a beautiful, something beautiful. And I've said it, you know, a couple of times before I either want something really tooly looking or something really beautiful <laughs> and, uh, and nothing in, in the middle. Uh, mm -hmm. is really doing it for me at the moment. Although, you know, I have my moments and I get sidetracked and I'm like, oh, let me sell everything for a Submariner, even though I know that's not what I really <laughs> want to do, but I, I just have those yeah. moments, right? Yeah. You know, um, and I think we all, we all go through that. I mean, the, we all go through phases where it's one thing or another that really attracts us to a watch. And and then there's some people in the chat who say, well, it's just a combination of a lot of things. And that's absolutely right. It's also It's all those things at the same time. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so. I mean, yeah. I I mean, there's lots of other things too, right? I've got to be able to buy it for the right price. It's got to be a good value. It's got to, or it's got to retain value, or it's got to like. I'm not gonna. I unless I absolutely love something, I'm not gonna take a fifty percent hit on a watch. It's mm -hmm. just I wasn't raised that way. Yeah, <laughs> it's just yeah. not not gonna happen. Yeah. 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 So you know that factors into it. It's, but it's a lot of things with me. I, I can't yeah. key in on one thing. Yeah. And, no. and also with Colin, I think he, he didn't mention it, but it, it comes up in our, in our chats um, between us that he has a really good relationship mm. with an AD. Mm -hmm. and, and I think Pretty just, good. just as if you can form like a, a, a connection with a watch, watchmaker, I think forming a connection with someone who can get you access to pieces that are actually interesting to mm. you. If, even if it takes some work, it's not really work. Mm. If it's someone you really enjoy interacting with and, and mm. I mean, Colin yeah. has that Marcus has that with someone else. So it, mm. Mm. I think that's, it's enjoyable to hear him talk about that. You know, when new, new, new things catch his eye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. they buy all the watches you think you like, sell off the ones you thought you liked, and you'll be left with those you really like. That's yeah. true. It's partially, that's what I do. Yeah. And with the AD, it's a different kind of hunt sometimes, but it's still an enjoyable well, it is. hunt. It's, uh, we're all, we're all doing different kinds of hunts at different times. And, uh, yeah. if, if we could just, you know, if everything came easy, it wouldn't be as fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Joe getting some accolades um, by the maker, not just a watch. Sounds like Joe's model. Yeah, I did a recent uh, did that recent Sartori Billard review, and after I did it, I was thinking, you know, I'm never really hyped up on any review. I'm always kind of like reserved. And at one point, I was like, you know, I I talked about how I had mixed feelings and like, did I did I really do the right thing buying it? And then I was based, I was like, well, I guess so. Anyway, after I did it, I was like, wow, maybe I was pretty low energy there. I get a text from Armand Biard saying, <laughs> loved your review, you know, love the honesty, you know, it was a really weird feeling because um, it was cool to, he's super nice and friendly and it's cool to get that, that touch point. But then I was kind of like, oh, should I have, should I have been a little more, you know, cause I love the watch, you know, I'm just never kind of over the top about any, mm. any watch, you know? Um, but it, it, I can, I can see Joe, you, uh, even knowing him a little bit has been really enjoyable and I can see how, you know, you've had more, even more communications with Kadoka and stuff. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a rewarding part of, of this all. Well, I, first, yeah, it, it's fine. Arman, Arman seems like a really cool guy. Just, yeah. just watching a couple of minutes of you and Richard talk to him on the stream, yeah. like he's definitely someone that I, I want to save my pennies for as well. If I can yeah. imagine something, you know, yeah. uh, one of his designs that would suit me. Yeah. And for the Kadoka thing, I should just clarify: I have never written or spoken a word. <laughs> To Stefan, like he, yeah. he, he's kind of embarrassed about his English. One hundred percent of the communication is with his wife, and yeah. we pretty much just talk about our kids most of the yeah. time. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's nothing, yeah, that's, nothing fancy. Yeah, but yeah, you but got still in the mail. It's a personal like, connection. Uh, it's a personal yeah. connection for sure. Yeah, and uh, Ar Ar Arman um, uh, 
was not uh, stalking oil money. He, uh, I posted on Instagram that I had done a review, and we he he follows me on Instagram, so it was uh, so he checked out the review. Have a good one, Young XLNC. Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. Oh, I, I just I'm got that. Wow, XLNC. Sorry, took me long enough. All right. I think we all <laughs> become <laughs> to our brands, though. Yeah. If you look at our individual collections. Yeah, I mean, I think there's there's some of that too. Um, yeah. I, I definitely have some yeah. brand loyalty um, to some of um, to some of my watches, and 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 then I get pref I give it preferential treatment when I'm, you know, debating whether I should get another watch or what should I get. Like I like Zen. I do that with GP, although I only have one GP, and and I know Megan has a soft spot for for GP as well. Um, but uh, there's so many great GPs out there that I would love to to add those. I just there's something about the underrated, the underdog in in the states here anyway, at least of GP that, that attracts me to it, and, and it has nothing to do with hand guilloche. You know what I mean? Um, okay, Joe is uh, effing cool. <laughs> He's like the Morgan Freeman of the live stream. <laughs> All right. Can anybody let's more let your wife people with like deep that. voices? <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean she's making hot uh, chocolate. How is she typing in as well? Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, guys, we're at an hour and one minute. That went really fast. An enjoyable conversation. You serious? Yeah. That was really um, fast. Had a really enjoyable conversation tonight. Uh, love talking about these little details of what attracts us to mm -hmm. to the watches that we seek and buy. Um, excellent, Joe. Anything uh, coming up uh, on the, any more pictures with watches that we should be looking forward to? <laughs> no, no, just uh, just follow Colin's Instagram accounts like I do. Okay, yeah, yeah. That That's picture true. on the tree. The Kudoka on that tree, that was awesome. Really good job. Thank Quick you. deflection by Colin. Awesome. But let's get <laughs> yeah. back to Colin. Colin, anything else yeah. going on with you uh, this uh, this week? More, more pictures. Winding watches. Yeah. Uh, Colin's Instagrams are like your watch. Like you've got the Thule and the dress watches. And Colin's <laughs> yeah. got the got The, the Thule and know. the pretty. Yeah, the right? Thule and the pretty. <laughs> what? Yep. Same same kind of approach. I take macro shots sometimes. Yep. yep. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yep. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you, you certainly do. Okay. Real macro shots. <laughs> um, um, why did why does this happen at the end of it? <laughs> I uh, I'm gonna try to do a, a review here and there. I, okay. I just I'm gonna try to get back into it. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, because uh, dude, I, I enjoy uh, your reviews so much, Thank and um, it's in um, the name on my channel. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> give it a try. Um, will you do another live stream review? Would you yeah, do that again? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think um, that was fun. I don't know if it's for me, but I mean, I think for you, I think uh, you do such a great job, um, oh. and you have the camera set up. Um, it's um. It's, it's awesome. Um, anyway, guys, so tomorrow night, <laughs> if you haven't had enough streaming Bobby Legs, you had some yesterday, you had some t tonight, I will be on Watch it Chris live stream tomorrow, <laughs> Saturday, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. And then Sunday, Watch Soup wow. with Sanjay and special guest Rasan. Um, he's going to join yes. us as well while oh, we discuss. Yeah discuss topics from the this previous week cool in the watch world um nice. youtube watch world that's um awesome. so i uh, hope to see you guys there <laughs> i feel like that's a lot to ask someone um, just followed me thanks i don't know who it was <laughs> which which uh which one which one yeah finding watches <laughs> oh okay, oh, okay. <laughs> anyway guys have a good one good night have a great weekend take care thanks, guys. Guys. bye